it's juice time! Aya! Being in and of and with my breath. So I'm at the wrong place. Hello! Welcome back to my channel. It is day 18 of the 30-day Egyptian enema protocol and also day 7 of my juice cleanse. Woo -woo! finished my Mysore practice and I'm now back at my accommodation. I had my first class this morning, Mysore practice with Radha and that was interesting. She's definitely into the fine details of the practice which is great. She gave me some tips on placements of my foot and my hands. And that was really insightful. There were no major backbend adjustments or Supta Kumarsana adjustments. I'm only going to practice with her for a week. Yeah, I think it'll be a good week to learn more from a different teacher. As you can see, the weather's still meh. At least it's not raining. I'm going to go in, have some juice. One interesting thing that she did comment on about my practice was that I'm not in my breath enough. Your yoga practice, it's all about the breath. Without your breath, you have nothing. I suppose maybe at the beginning of my practice, I'm not so breathing heavily enough. More so towards the end when the postures, I think, get more difficult for me. I suppose from the very beginning, I have to be really present and mindful of being in and of and with my breath. That's not just for on the mat, but also when you're off the mat. You're aware of your breath, you're present. How many times during our day and our daily activities are we in the past thinking about something or we're anticipating and thinking about something in the future? When we're here in our breath and mindful of the breath, it allows us to be right here in the present moment. And that's what it's all about, right? Is being present, having presence being in the here and now. Uh, yeah? I'm just gonna do some coconut oil pulling. You've seen me do this before. Oh, it kind of solidified a bit over the night. Just here. Oh, be close. I was just wanting to show you, I'm making up a new batch of the Gua Sha body wash, exfoliating wash. I want to show you guys how you can make this. It's super easy. Basically, you just need a container. I would recommend glass. I got this container here super cheap at the Bintang supermarket. It cost me 11,000 Indonesian rupiah. I've also got triple distilled vodka. It's recommended to have triple distilled. It was like $29 at the liquor store. I've also got here um, an assortment of aluminum free bicarb soda, bicarbonate soda. I've got some here in some packets. Hopefully this is enough. Also, to add to this, I've got some essential oils. I've got frankincense, king of oils. Frankincense promotes feelings of peace and overall wellness when used aromatically, topically, and internally. Internally, it's actually great for your immune system. And frankincense was used 
thousands of years ago by the Egyptians. Frankincense is also mentioned in the Bible during Bible times. It's an oil that's been around for a long, long time. Many, many health benefits. So I recommend that you get some frankincense oil. It is actually one of the more expensive oils from doTERRA. Lavender oil is amazing. It's also very relaxing and calming and soothing. And this one dates back to being used by the Romans and the Egyptians way back in the day for bathing and self-care rituals. So not only is lavender so calming and relaxing to use, it's also excellent for your skin. Again, I would recommend doTERRA oils because topically you can apply them to your face and to your skin, your body, and also you can internally ingest these. I've had mosquito bites and rashes in the past. I've definitely used lavender with a combination of eucalyptus oil and it's, it's worked, it's really good. But going back to the gua sha mix, we do have, we have the oils and the glass jar the vodka and the bicarb soda. Super easy. We're going to add. Okay, so I have another packet here. Always my trusty, oh, my trusty knife. Yeah, I might add some in later, but actually that's pretty good for now. Next, add your vodka, like so. What I like to do, Oh, see? So see how the levels drop down? That's why I definitely now will add in more of the bicarb soda. And give it a shake. Woo! Give it a shake! <laughs> oh, that's gonna need some more vodka. So for me, I like to play a little bit with the the ratio of how much you need. But basically, it's really easy. You just combine and shake. And then the last thing that you do want to add in, and of course, I'm specifically using lavender and frankincense. You can use any oils that you like. Basically, the consistency at times when I've made this, sometimes it's a little bit more runny, a little bit more liquidy. Other times it is it's drier, you know, basically it's much of a muchness. Also, I think depending on the aluminium free bicarb soda that you get, sometimes I found that the powder is more gran granulated, even if that's a word, but sometimes the powder is a little bit more coarse. So it does feel like when you use it that it's exfoliating. And kind of looks like, I'm not sure if you can see this, it's a little bit liquidy. Then I'm going to add in, say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten drops of frankincense. And then I will add in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten drops of lavender. Again, I'm going to close the lid and just give it one more shake. You wanna shake it up, Woo! shake it up. <laughs> there you have your gua sha mix. Oh my god, it smells divine. The essential oils, oh, beautiful, amazing. Okay, so that's it, super easy, huh? Okay, amazing, I'm just about to Get going here and shower, although I am becoming a bit peckish. So it's juice time! Aya! <laughs> I'm actually feeling really good. It's been seven days of juicing and I feel really good. I feel like today I have energy, my mind is super sharp on point, digestion is fine. However, this morning when I did start my Mysore practice, I did feel kind of tired. I did have a really good sleep last night, but the two nights before leading up to the supermoon, I like didn't sleep very much, so I think that must have caught up to me. So I had Friday, which was moon day, Ashtanga yogis don't practice. Saturday, I had off as well, because Ashtanga yogis, we don't practice on Saturday either. But having two days off in a row and coming back to Mysore practice this morning was that was a bit much. Anywho, we have the green juice this morning. Actually, it's kind of a little bit green. It's called Body Care. And it's cucumber, apple, mint, lemon, ginger, 
The benefits are digestion, weight loss, hair, skin, nails, immunity, hydration, bones, joints. Let's open it with my trusty knife. Generally, when I'm not drinking juice at home, I usually use my teeth to rip off the plastic. FYI. Okay, let's taste this one. Wow. 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 Definitely one of my favorites. Definitely going to make this juice afterwards. Divine. 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 I just wanted to give a quick shopping haul of what I got yesterday evening. I'm in Ubud and it's super freezing cold, so I needed to buy some more layers. This is all items that I purchased from Hurley. No, I am not sponsored by Hurley, although that would be awesome. So I bought these black sweatpants, tracksuit pants, which are really cute. They come down and they're tighter at the ankles. Very comfortable, like mid-waisted. As well as this cute waist length, not cropped, black sweater. And then I also bought this, I also bought this black long sleeve top with a hood that's actually quite long. And these are perfect for in the morning when I'm driving to my sore practice on my scooter. So this is really easy and comfortable to wear over my yoga clothes. I'm just leaving now. Quite a productive morning. Now I'm heading to Outpost to work for a while. I have an appointment this afternoon and I'll, you'll see that later. Yeah. Transfusion and it's beetroot, kale, cucumber, lemon, lime, ginger, turmeric. And the benefits are detox blood, stress relief, liver, kidney, control blood sugar. So. The kale is really good. You can actually taste the kale and the beetroot, and then the Ginger and turmeric is really good. Sometimes here in Bali, things are very much in flow. However, today the Wi-Fi is super slow. Super slow. That's why I came here for the high-speed internet. And it's slow. I've got this Ayurvedic appointment this afternoon with a doctor, an Ayurveda doctor. And I think I'm at the right place, although this says it's an ashram. And I hear like praying next door. <laughs> okay, so I'm at the wrong place. I've found the right place now. <laughs> it's so nice. Actually, the sun is shining today. Although I will tell you the truth this afternoon, I am feeling extremely tired and my body is really sore. I'm not sure if it's because I had two days off from Mysore, the Friday and the Saturday, and then yesterday I had the massage, but I'm feeling really, really tired right now. Oh, hello. So currently I am now back at my accommodation. I went to the Ayurvedic doctor and it was super, super interesting. 
I do, however, feel like I've been hit by a truck. I am today, for the first time, doing this cleanse that I feel really, really tired. Like, it's probably maybe 5 p.m. Actually, I'll tell you what time it is. It's 5.24 p.m. and I feel like I could go to sleep within the hour. I'm definitely listening to my body today and I'm going to actually drink this juice. I'm hungry, thirsty, need some juice. Well, that helps. I need, this one is antidote. Kale, romaine, parsley, cucumber, celery, lemon, ginger. The benefits are energy, anti-aging, clarity, control blood sugar, alkaline. So this appointment with the Ayurvedic doctor went really well. I've never had an appointment like this before. Some of the things discussed and talked about I already intuitively know and I'm aware of. Basically, there are three types of energies in your body. They're called Pitta, Vata and there's one more I can't remember it Pita Vata. anyway basically when we're born even at conception we're made up of these three energies and throughout our life depending on our lifestyle and experiences you know they can become unbalanced we have all three of them also the five elements air water air water earth I am predominantly a vata with a little bit of pitta. And what the doctor, Ayurvedic, he was this Indian doctor who is lovely. I really had a great appointment. He basically said that my vata is dominant and it's very much out of balance. There are generally foods to avoid, activities to avoid. For me, I have a very active mind, so I need to focus on doing less activity. But due to my nature and the type of person I am, I like to always push myself and be active and busy, busy, busy. So that's why today, after the appointment, I was like, I cannot do any more editing today. And besides, the Wi-Fi was really slow at Outpost today. Also, what was really interesting he did tell me, which I already knew, which hopefully doing this cleanse I'm clearing up, is yes, I have some parasites. He looked at my tongue and he could tell that I have some inflammation in my colon and that I have some parasites on the things that I told him and we talked about and he checked my pulse and he also looked at my tongue. I thought that was interesting, I already knew that, and that I have a bit of candida. Yes, he's prescribed me some herbs, three different types of herbs. These are all natural. Um, ashwagandha, I hear a lot about ashwagandha, um, making it into a tea and a tonic. To help the mind relax. Amygna, which is for the parasites and the candida. And also for my liver support. I've got another herb. I feel good about purchasing those and taking those in conjunction with my cleanse. Also, what he said was really interesting that for me, being vata, that eating too much raw food is not good for me because vata is very wind, is very air, and I'm very much air element and busy, busy, busy. When you eat um, raw foods or cold foods, it keeps your body in much more of a lighter state. And for me, I'm, I'm better to eat grounding foods, lots of soups and stews. So that was really interesting. And there are certain um, fruits that maybe I should avoid for now, which I'm not going to cut out completely, but any high sugar fruits which was dates and bananas and oh my gosh, I love my smoothie bowls. He said not forever, but just until my body is in a, back into a, a better state. Look, I'm going to go to Mysore next month. I think I'll do a follow-up at the end of my second month there. That'll be two months of hopefully following some of the things and, and being just more mindful said for me what's really important is meditation. I think that's important for everybody. Um, because I do Ashtanga yoga, that is quite intense yoga. Try and look up some Tai Chi or some Qigong, which I've always wanted to try. I am going to now just get into bed. I'm gonna read, maybe watch some YouTube, probably read, make some tea. I'll finish drinking this juice. And it's really delicious. 
and then it's an early night for me. But thank you so much for watching another video. I do hope that you've enjoyed yourself. Maybe you've learned something. Please hit the subscribe button. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and you can also follow me on Instagram at Bottles of Arm. Good afternoon, good night, and I'll see you next video.